All right, hey everybody, welcome to the Coding Zoo. If this is your first time joining, my name is Shane, and this is the Java Building Box Playlist. In today's lesson, we're going to cover basic examples of conditions in Java. Uh, this is something as you're learning uh, Java or any new language, you want to learn how to uh, do conditions. We are going to cover if blocks. We're going to cover if and if else um, Java conditions. If you're not familiar with that, you definitely have to understand that as you learn Java. Stick around. We're going to jump right in. Hey, so on my screen here, I've got a class called uh, if conditions. And I've got this main method. So let's look at the variables I have here. I have my number and I have my second number. My number is an integer, it equals three. My second number is uh, an integer, it equals two. So I'm actually creating an if block here. It says if my number minus my second number is equal to one, then print out running this line because the condition um, one was met. So an if block starts out with if, and then you put your condition inside the quote um, inside the parentheses. And in this case, I'm doing my number my second number is equal to one. Now in previous videos, we learned about how to do comparisons with equal equal, not equal, greater than, less than, um, all those good. Uh, uh, operators and in the if else block that's where you would use those operators so if my number minus my second number is equal to one print out this statement let's see if it is run it there we go running this line because condition one was met so my number three minus two is equal to one so pretty simple that is an if block now what if you want to do something else if that condition was not met? Well, you would do an if else block. So let's try that. So my next example here, I have uh, if number, my number is less than two, print out running this line, um, else run this line. Now notice I've got if parentheses, my number is less than two, parentheses, open curly bracket. I've got what you would do in that case, close curly bracket, and then I have the word else. And then I have open curly bracket, what you would do if the condition was not met, and then close curly bracket. So is my number less than two? My number is actually three. So it should run this else and not run this. Let's run it. Running this line if no condition met. So there we go. It ran the else um, code block. So everything inside of this block, and it can be more than one line of code. It can be it can be a call to another method. It can be several lines of code. Will run if that condition is not met. So this is a if else block. Pretty simple. Now let's try an if else if else example. <laughs> that's kind of a tongue twister. Um, so you can actually um, add many ifs into one um, if uh, block. So here we have if my number is less than two, print this out. Else, if my number is equal to three, print this out. And I can keep putting other else if blocks, right? And again, it's the same syntax. If parentheses your comparison uh, in parentheses, open curly bracket, your block of code, code, close curly bracket, else, but instead of just else, you do else if, and you do your comparison, open curly bracket, your code, close curly bracket. Pretty simple, same pattern over and over again. You could also put another else if here, if you wanted to, um, but I'm gonna leave that as an else. So I have two conditions I'm checking for these two conditions. Is it equal to three? Is it less than two? Or else do this. Now if any one of these conditions is met, that will be the end of the statement. It won't go check the other conditions. That's one thing to remember with if else's. Uh, even if you have four else ifs, 
if the condition is met on the first one, it will not go run the other other else ifs. Okay, let's run it. So if, if it runs correctly, it should print out this right here, which says running this line if second condition is met. There it goes, running this line if second condition is met. So that's if, if else, and if else if blocks. Pretty simple. Now, I'm going to go over one more thing. So this is comparing numbers. Well, what if you were comparing objects, or as we learned in previous lessons, what if you're comparing um, strings, right? How do you compare strings? So I'm going to change this up. I'm going to uncomment this one. And I'm going to create a um, string called sun name equal and then Nick. And then I'm going to create a string my name equals Shane. And I'm going to have a condition of if these are equal. Now, if you've gone over the lesson with comparing strings or objects, um, it will compile if I do this. And with strings, in some cases, it might actually be true. Uh, but you shouldn't do this. Let's do it um, the correct way. So I'm going to do equals. So if that's equals, print out this else. Not equal. Okay, save it, run it, and it's not equal. Son name is not equal to my name. Now, what if I wanted to check if it's not equal? What if I just wanted to do something if it was not equal? I didn't need an else block. I just wanted to say not if they're equal, but I want to say they're not equal. Well, you'd know with numbers, you would do not equal or uh, in, in the case of equal, you do equal equal, right? Um, as we said, you can't do that with strings or objects. You have to use this equals method or equals ignore case, but you can use the not. So I'm going to say not. So if open parentheses um, not son name dot equals my name, and then close this parentheses, and then you have your blocker code it should go into this code if they're not equal. Save it. And there you go. It ran that line. So that is a simple if else block using strings and numbers. Very simple. Hope that makes sense to you. If you have any questions, uh, definitely leave me a message below uh, and I'll get back to you. If this is your first time watching the Coding Zoo. Click on the subscribe button below. That helps us a lot. Click on the alert icon, the bell icon. That'll let you know when our next videos come out. We cover JavaScript, HTML, CSS. We're getting into more and more languages every day. If you like this video, uh, be sure to click the like button. Thanks for joining, and I hope to see you again. See you next time. Bye.